It's your favorite series from TikTok. So if you didn't know or you weren't following me for the past almost two years, I had a viral series on TikTok called Your Favorite Series on TikTok where I pulled out all of my old Mac products from over a decade and reminisced, reminisced and fell in love and cried and begged for things to come back. And I'm bringing it in a long format to YouTube. So here we go. Oh, moon's reflection? Shut the fuck up. I forgot about this color. Was it a luster? Oh. Such a pretty, it's like a sky. I feel like this would do really, really well right now. I would have died without ever remembering that name. Ever. That series got about, it has to be close to a billion views because it was a hundred different episodes and multiple ones went viral. Mineralized eyeshadow in Fireside. I remember this. This on this looks untouched. Again, mineralized eyeshadow. They could also make a comeback. It's very, it's very now. I love it. Marcel Wanders. Mm. Jana. This. I have to go in my kit to get a disposable. This is, this is my kind of color. This, it's just, it's so beautifully iridescent. It's so yummy. What exists now that looks like this? I have to have, I have to have something. Oh, shit's falling out. Oh, it made it back. And whoever capped it, bless you. So I won an award. I got flown out to Miami to accept the first ever um, Mac Trend Viral Artist of the Year. It was global recognition and I had no idea it was happening, but it was all from my personal TikTok. And then I presented for Mac in Canada and I did a lip of the day live on stage in front of people. The Miami, I was in front of like 700 people. Canada, it was like 150. And I thought my influentially it just didn't make it. Cause I only had, I came back with the cap. That makes me really happy. Good job, good job. Golden Kitty. Bin Shimmer. This looks broken very much. What is this from? It's blush. Did that even have a name? It's just called Shimmer. It's like a rose gold. It's like, well, maybe because it's broken. I was like, it's too soft. That's pretty. It's too soft to be a blush. Kind of like a blush topper. Wait, blush had a shimmer formula. Why does it say blush on it? 
I've never seen that before. <gasps> New Galaxy. This was like a relaunch of lip glass. See, can you see that? It's so yummy. No, there's food in my teeth. You have to understand that I'm mainly from the TikTok world now. I don't really care what I look like. Only a minute. Oh, see-through cheek color. I've never. <gasps> oh, it, it's so watery. It's see-through. Oh, look at that little like fine tint. Look at that. And then you could. I love that. There's some stuff in that series where I have like, I tried on like vintage, vintage. I tried on like 90s Mac, like liners and lipsticks and eyeliners. Those I still don't, I don't have those anymore. They weren't mine, but there's so much goodness. Brunette mineralized skin finish. That's sexy. I love the old packaging so very much. This is something I would still wear for sure. Whim Mineralize Eyeshadow. Oh, it's like an iridescent, kind of like Moon's Reflection, but there's like a little bit more of a purpley Tone to it. Mineralized Skin Finish in Star Wonder. I feel like I remember this specific design. What color is that? Oh, it's like a little, oh, it's actually quite pink. What about the gold part? And I'm telling you, I have bins and bins and bins and bins of, of stuff. <sighs> Cream stick liner. Raw refined. Oh, it kind of gives like half red energy. Lip Tensity Liner, Cream Stick Liner, a new version of Pro Longwear Pencil. Please, I need them back. Lip Tensity, Blue Beat. Lip Tensities were great. One of the best formulas to exist. So smooth, so pigmented. The pencils don't get me started on Honey Beacon. Sign Style Cream Sheen Glass. It's pastel purple. It's lilac. Oh. Also, it's lilac. It's not lilac. This on top of nudes to make them. How old is this? It's fine. I can't do that back in. What's going on here? It's like. A concealer lip, but cool tone. It goes with my eyes really well. I just got back from the gym. I don't really know what my makeup looks like. I have shit on my shirt. I just don't care. I like this. I like this.
more mineralized eyeshadow. Silk, silver birch. Is this brand new? Goodness gracious. This is my kind of color. It's like, oh my God, I love that. It's gray. I love gray eyeshadow with flecks of gold. I call this color pewter. I don't actually know if that's right. <laughs> You're coming home with me. That's, I like, I like that. By feel, I think that this is either, does it spin? It's patent pop. It's either patent polish or Studio Fix concealer. It's patent polish. These were great. Oh, this is from um, the Sharon and Kelly Osborne collection. They are such a great product. So easy to use. I had a lot of the limited edition nude ones. Imagine if they brought them back and then came out with like a clear, like a clear bomb or like a clear with a glitter. <laughs> Love nectar. I've used, I've, first of all, luster, first of all, okay, there's so much to unpack here. Number, oh God, it's such a pretty color. Luster formula for over a decade now has been my favorite formula of all time. Luster eyeshadow, luster lipstick. I just fucking love it. Original luster glass with the brush in these little tiny little, this gives me many feels. This is one of the most beautiful. It exists in a lip glass now. One of the most beautiful colors in the whole world. Feels this is one of the most beautiful. It exists in a lip glass now. One of the most beautiful colors in the whole world. Silver Aura Mineralized Sheer Sheen Powder in Loose. I don't think I've ever heard of that before. Ooh. Oh, it's like, oh, it has the texture of translucent powder like the Prep and Prime loose, but it's got a bit of sheen to it. Where would I use this? It's, oh no, it has flecks of glitter in it. This would be like the most subtle loose powder highlight. Put it on? Sure. Sure, sure. I'm use a dirty brush. Oh yeah, it's very much, can you see that? The texture of like a setting powder. I already have highlight on. I can imagine this with like strobe cream would definitely give that like lit from within studio glow. That's a cool product. I've never heard of that one. This, it feels like it a, a smaller, I'm gonna close my eyes, but show you. It feels like a smaller select cover up container. It's not a paint. Uh, there was something that was like a, they had weird colors. And if this is like not even close, it's gonna be funny. There was like a green and a blue and they were like paints or tints or hues. 
Ah, okay, this is what I was thinking of. I just would never come up with that name. This is very old. Scuba Doo, uh, sheer color extract. There's no way that anything's coming out of here. Oh. <laughs> it still works. So it's like a, well, I don't know what the texture was supposed to be like. That just smells like really nothing. It's a stain, because that's not going anywhere. And it's kind of satiny. I would have loved these. I would have loved those. Oh, I feel like there's another one. Oh no, this one seems, let me close my eyes. This one seems bigger. Is this select cover up? If this is select cover up, I could retire on it. <gasps> Just a stain? in pink lure. Oh. Oh yeah. I wonder if this, no, I feel like the Benetton thing has been out forever. What is this from? 2003? What other colors did this come in? This looks like blood. See-through cheek color. Pink lure stain. 2006. This was called Subtle Hint. Interesting. This is my God. This package, everything. Else. That's my kind of shit. Beluga eyeshadow. <gasps> this looks like Jet Boy cream sheen glass. Oh, that makes me feel rich. It's like a black that also has a brown with a greeny, like an old gold kind of shimmer. So there would have been like black tied beauty marked beluga that had that black base with the glitter. I would wear this every day. That would be the base of my smoky eye. <gasps> it's a paint. What color? I can't pronounce this. Kai, Kai Roscuro. Paint packaging was so great. Let's see if we can get any out. Oh yeah. That's what we like. What kind of color is that? That's really pretty. It's like, um, an off-white with a bit of silver. I would wear this every single, every single day. Oh! Select Sheer Press Powder, NC30. Just, well, that's actually a lot smoother than I remember. Just a simple powder, a simple face powder that, you know, wasn't Studio Fix powder, wasn't Pro Longwear. If you just wanted powder, hi, I need a face powder. This was just a face powder. Oh, Slick Sheer was such a great, uh, a great product. Mm -hmm. Too dark, too dark, and my chin is oily. Okay, let's do one more. Ooh, this feels like a fluid line. <gasps> Feminine Edge. I, <gasps> I actually owned this myself. 
Is it still goopy? Oh God, colors like this could come back now for sure. Where is mine? Well, I guess love yourself. Um, love yourself, Dazzle Shadow Liquid would suffice, but this, and there was a burgundy one I had. I think it was from something around the time of like Baking Beauties. I think. Oh, yeah, because I had the white logo. Baking Beauties? Because I don't think it was quite cute. I just got lip gloss in my hair. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more vintage makeup content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. Follow me on TikTok. And if you want to see the original Your Fave series, there is 100 episodes there's a playlist on my tiktok that you can you can watch those ones are only like three minutes long max i kept them really really short but if you'd like to binge watch me i'm over there and you can also follow me on instagram under the same name at miss may robinson and i am now on cameo as well if you need help with your makeup application you need tips and tricks that are custom to you you can book me on cameo and until then i'll see you next time Bye.